What is up, <clears throat> everybody? Destiny Gary here. So, here's what we're doing today. I am actually playing back footage from the Destiny what 2 capture up? event. And I'm going to be taking any of your questions Welcome that you may to have. Nessus. This planet is crawling with Vix. The Red Legion has sent in crews. We need to know why. Failsafe, are you online? Commander, your favorite AI is primed and ready. I have prepared backdoors into several key Vex systems. We have detected a series of seismic disruptions. The Cabal may be responsible. We need to know what we're dealing with. Yours are the boots on the ground, Guardian. Are you guys getting audio? Good luck. Anyway, so this is the strike. This is actually uh, CJ Gibson's uh, perspective. It just happened to be the file that I opened, I guess. All this can be found on youtube.com slash IGN, youtube.com slash fireteam chat. You can see my perspective over on the Destin channel and in those locations. So this is the Hunter. One of CJ's favorite subjects. And let me know if it's too loud. Uh, right now, if you're watching, you should be checking out uh, Let me know how it's going also, pretty much. Well, I haven't actually got to look at this footage, but there were a few things I wanted to discuss. Thank you for the follow. Trying to figure out why fire teams. There it is. All right, I turned the gameplay down. Is that what you meant? Was the gameplay too loud? All right. Chat please. Uh, Mom Spaghetti said, how do you feel about what Mike said on Twitter? Look, I don't know look, what they're talking about. It's a about. Vex milk waterfall. Can we stop and... Aww. So, anyway. I can't really hear it. My headset's not getting the audio for some reason. Oh, wait. Let me... I know what to do. Technical difficulties. Anyway, I give up on that. So, uh, I didn't find any ghosts. I did go off the beaten path a little bit. That was Pundurlian. Yes, so a gunslinger can shade step. That's really interesting. I actually have a bunch of notes in my phone about what I found interesting about this footage. We're going to kind of go over it as I stream today. I think there's a metaphor here. I'm streaming and from twitch.tv like slash the Destiny channel. But uh, you can also find me on Fireteam Chat, of course. Eric, I don't know, understand your question. What's the news on the news server? Checking Twitter right now. If you have any questions, leave them in chat. Feel free. So, I got an interesting hey, comment over on Fireteam Chat from Eric Estrada. It looks exactly the same as any Destiny 1. On well, let me tell you this about the game. The Mechanically, it feels much different. Well, like, the jumps feel okay, different. We'll shoot. Uh, the shooting... Here he has a weapon that has a decent rate of fire, but your scouts... The scouts that they provided us anyway... Um, were... Definitely... Turned out. They probably have a problem. He just fired five. He, could all, he probably could have fired six shots with a golden gun. It's 
really interesting how supers work this time. I mean, they're good. But I don't know how good. And Champ says, you were right about the deaths. Yeah. I mean, they talk about death in the press conferences. We'll go over that a little bit later. Um, basically, I'm watching this with you now. And kind of analyzing this perspective for details. What could the uh, Red Legion there are some things that I want to show you guys a little bit later. Friendly query, what have you done to attract such hostile species to my planet? There you go, you see one of the new Red Legion enemies right there. TK takes him out with his exotic. This is, as you saw in the beginning, if you tuned in, um, that is an exotic uh, slot that goes in the, we'll call it elemental damage slot. Uh, so there's a new item called Dust. We don't really know what that is. Subclasses have cool new builds, like somebody pointed out right here, that this is a golden gun with Shade Stab. It's going to make uh, for some interesting encounters. It seems like in your subclass tree, you will actually unlock items as you play through. Goji. Yeah, and I apologize if I seem unenthusiastic. Oh, is my audio really quiet? All right, sorry guys. I put the put the gameplay where it normally is. It should be a little bit more balanced out. Hey, Stev. By the way, shout out to Stev who's in chat right now for all the help with the live stream. We definitely appreciate it, dude. It was a huge, huge, huge help. Uh, oh, man. This is like a terrible example of my stream because I'm a little sleepy. But if you guys want to support the stream uh, over on twitch.tv slash Destin channel, uh, you can subscribe. That's probably the best way to do it. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 8. I missed this Thursday because it was at the Destiny event. But... I brought back some juicy, juicy footage. Shout out to Illegal Matt also for supporting the stream. And Sterling Elite, you are top for this month. Thank you, guys. Soon I will build that better streaming PC. Anyway, what was I going over? So I just wrote a few notes in the car ride back home, right? Jumping feels different. There's a show lower button some people notice, but it only shows light of weapons. Uh, you can't. You couldn't inspect weapons in this build. So one thing you should know about these early access games. Can Warlocks still self res? We'll look at the subclasses next. A lot of questions about the subclasses. So I'll go through frame by frame and look at that. Oh, you're talking about Xbox Quick, Mike uh, from Xbox. Uh, that's not quite the exact quote. So people are commenting about Scorpio. They're trying to figure out if it's going to run at 60 or not. We don't know. Uh, all signs point to the fact that Xbox is probably... Let me think. Xbox is probably going to run at 30. Like We think the consoles are going to be locked at 30, basically. Is there a way to mute my mic? Great stream. I know. Sorry, everybody. Now, the problem I have with that is why would... Why would the Xbox... It seems like Scorpio could handle it. By the way, that's my Titan putting up the shield right in everybody's way. Yeah, CJ's doing work on these enemies. That exotic really, really hurts them quickly. I like these new mini bosses that you encounter. They're yellow bars basically, right? But they have like three tiers. You got to whittle them away. I like that a lot. CJ might have gone into a and subclass the only build. Is down past those giant pointy drill bits. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so Ryan Chapman, uh, over on Fireteam Chat, talking about Xbox. I'm not really sure 
what to make of those comments. So... I just think because it was like a Sony partnered thing... Sony brought all the consoles for them and everything. I just think they were not talking about Xbox at all. Uh, they'll be able to do that at E3. Who knows? Maybe they'll be on Microsoft stage. Maybe they'll... Because the Scorpio is not, not even revealed yet. Destin, do you think that the Scorpio with 60 FPS would give them an edge on the Xbox One? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're going to do it, though, because... I mean, they clearly have a relationship with Sony that they're trying to foster. And if they were to give Xbox a 60 FPS thing, or 60 FPS, then I'm not quite sure... I, they're not going to react to them do it. <laughs> ah, CJ's trying to hold his pulse. Damn, that thing's fast, dude. We didn't have that in PvP. Anyway. Anywhere and how many can be in a patrol together. Uh, we should look at that a little bit later. Oh, patrol? Uh, three, I think. I've heard that the open world... I saw on Twitter, like, it's not a reliable source. Somebody said, like, 26, 28. Uh, on the PC, I did accidentally go into the submenu slot. There was still a spaceship slot. There was still an emote slot for, you know, one unique emote. But uh, that's all I saw. A lot of people have been asking about the emotes and the shaders and stuff. Uh, there was a locked out node on the sub menu actually and the thing about this build is there's a ton of stuff locked out you could tell they like put it on lockdown they don't want people messing around in those sub menus hunter looks like they're the most versatile for most modes it's gonna be interesting to see i didn't even see that guy when i played so i was getting right Yeah, even the knife throw, everything feels slow. Slow down. Ooh, that's why I never saw him. The Cabal don't need to stick the landing. We do. What do you think of the PC controls? Are you going to remap and get it on PC? Uh, PC looks uh, great. PC looks really, really, really good. And it was difficult for me going from... 60 fps multiplayer to a 30 fps campaign it was jarring for me it was difficult to do that e especially seeing the campaign running at 60 because they had pc uh console setup right i i might go pc like i'm definitely going to have a pc version of the game the thing is our theories on fireteam chat have always been that the playstation 4 pro is basically going to be the uh how do i say this the least powerful console so when you're comparing the playstation 4 to the xbox one s right or sorry the xbox uh, scorpio which isn't out yet we already know the scorpio is more powerful now we know that the ps4 had a bottleneck of the CPU. They have a bottleneck on the CPU where it seems like the PS4 just couldn't, I think it was the CPU, either the CPU or the GPU, but regardless, PS4 can't run at 4K60, it just can't do it, and they want that smooth experience on all their platforms. So that puts them in a difficult spot. Like, I don't know how they're gonna handle it. If if Xbox can run at for this. if Xbox can run at 60, which I don't think it's going to. I mean, they they were pretty much alluding to that fact. If you read all the interviews online and everything right now, or even look when they were talking to us about it on uh, the Fire Team chat episode, then I don't know. It just seems like. It just seems like they're not going to do it. By the way, I love that Scion effect. How the Scions, like, uh, attack now. Comes at you like that. That's Fran, by the way. Shout out to Fran, who kept getting killed by the drill. <laughs> they alluded to some stuff about, um, your... 
fine. This is fine. This is just fine. Sorry, guys. I'm tired. They alluded to... Oof. I'm getting into the gameplay. All right. Rhythm Frequency has a quest for me. I can focus on that. I've already got my pre-order paid up on PS4. I'm planning on getting the game on all platforms, though, because I know a few people who won't play on any platform except for one. By the way, that was Fran who died again. <laughs> um... Yeah, so the thing is, my raid crew, like Goji's in chat right now, Xavier's in chat right now. Yeah, Xavier's saying Xbox Scorpio can run 60, but it won't, and I, I think he's right. And the thing is, that sucks. <laughs> like, maybe the, it'll have graphical enhancements. It's like, come on, you know this is the year of the Xbox, right? Everyone is going to be asking about... The Xbox capabilities, what it can do, how much power it can output. It's going to be really, really interesting. Just a reminder, this is Destiny 2 Infinite Killer. Oh man, my YouTube that is wrong, isn't it? Feel safe. All right, don't unplug my HDMI. Guys, I'm going to fix some pub info really quick. Here comes the boss man. Uh, guys, we've encountered a massive vex mine. Watch your back, friend. I'm detecting multiple ordnance. We all died here, by This is me saving the day. to the floor. All right, everybody, I'm back. Sorry about that. So, yes, this is Destiny 2. 
that we are watching right now, and that is Protheon. That is the the guy we were talking about on Fire Team Chat today, correct? I had to adjust all the pub info to read Destiny 2. So after this, we're gonna dig into the subclass menus and take a look at the single player campaign. But I want to talk about what I noticed here. It was really interesting. Uh, I really hope this is not the beta. I hope there's a little bit more in the campaign to do than that. More like an exploration section. Yeah, guys, no controller. This is just uh, our gameplay from the event yesterday. So basically, I'm just sitting and looking for any new clues and answering any questions you guys might have. We are fighting PS4 Protheon. Oh, I get it. Because <laughs> nice. Thank you, Infinite Killer. So we were only allowed to capture on PS4 Pro. Let me ask you guys a question. Oh, we're gonna talk clan support. Clan support is big. They're going all out. I'm really, really stoked about Clan Sport. I've been thinking about writing like a very specific motto for the IGN clan. Because you, you're still at that cap, it seems like. I think they... I have to refer to our interview by right now. Anyway, I was going to ask you guys, is, are there any 30p friends, fans in here? Or are you guys all 60? Just type 30 or 60 in chat. A lot of people are saying 60 or higher. <laughs> um, some people are saying 30, though. Some people really do like the 30 FPS experience. That's really interesting. So Stav, Rio, he said... Any info if they're freeing up inactive clan names? So I actually don't know. But, um... It seems like... Damn it, Stev, your question's gone. It seems like that's not going to happen, but you are going to be able to carry over your clan into Destiny 2. Everybody comes over if they want to. That is awesome. That is really exciting for me. Uh, you can't compare Xbox Scorpio PS4 Pro. Compare the Scorpio with the... Uh, okay. I mean, I think the closest console fusion is definitely the Pro. That's why those, those comparisons are naturally going to happen. Um, so now CJ's digging into his inventory here a little bit. Looking at the sniper rifle with, of course, Crouch. 
which is awful. Shotgun with auto reload. So it looks like auto reload on some of these here. So through the magic of uh, computers, I can actually freeze frame on some of these. So let's dig into the weapon stats. Precision on this one. Uh, recoil pattern is vertical. That's interesting. Getting kills temporarily grants increased damage. Stacks three times. Okay. Rapid fire. So I actually tried that out in my gameplay as the Titan. That's up on the Destiny channel right now and everywhere else. Um, but then crouching, not going to use that anyway. Uh, it's really interesting. You have a six round clip. It's going great, Sour Alien. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I should point out that, yeah, if you guys want to support the stream, best place to do that is twist.tv slash Destiny channel with a sub. I'm going to be doing tons of Destiny 2 stuff. Uh, you have no idea. Let's talk about Nad Odd. Looks like it's a grenade launcher. Aggressive, high damage, high recoil. So yeah, it definitely kicked a lot when I was using it. We didn't have any full auto scouts, Eric. And it automatically reloads a portion of the magazine when you're almost dead. So that'll work well for me. Lightweight, move faster with this weapon. The holster weapon is automatically reloaded after a short period of time. That is great. Good to know. That was retro futurist. And then we got the rocket launcher. I did not like this rocket launcher. One round in the scope and... Like, fast aiming, that's great. Uh, Auto-tracking missiles, though. I thought I heard the tracking noise. I'm very, very happy that it was. Uh, people in chat are asking about vault space. Do you know if it's bigger? They they alluded to it in the full interview. They alluded to the fact that um, there would be a new place to store stuff, but we're... I'm not clear on it. They could just be joking around. I don't know. Uh, possibly famous. Are you still unsure about what platform you're going to play on? Dude, seeing that campaign on PC, it looked beautiful. So I think I'm just going to play on multiple platforms. <laughs> uh, so the sidearm, I will draw them in, then take them out. Move faster with this weapon. Precision kills greatly decrease reload time, etc. So right now on the lower right hand screen, we're seeing L2 gear stats. Uh, I don't know if he does it in this clip, but it doesn't really do anything. It just shows you a number, at least on the armor. Uh, on other screens, it will say lore. People are asking a lot of questions that I don't have the answer to, like are PvE and PvP balance separate? I didn't ask. There's a full 38-minute interview with a lot of questions. Here's Sunshot. So CJ was using this in a ton of his footage. Explosive rounds. Highlights targets. Okay, that's why I was wrecking them. Targets kill with sunshot, explode in solar energy. Okay, wow. Another some machine gun, lightweight, move faster, grants a short period. Uh, range is pretty weak on the submachine guns, I noticed. You know, there's another submachine gun with better range. That's the one I should have put on. Move faster, melee kills, and then let's look at that hand cannon. It's a Suros. Well rounded, reliable, and sturdy. Magazine. Oh, why the droppy? Droppy one. And uh, we got Nightshade Pulse. This thing wrecked. CJ was wrecking with this. 450. Oh, rounds per minute. That is really interesting. I wonder if all the weapons have rounds per minute. Let's find out. They do. So they don't have DPS in the game necessarily. But it is interesting that they add that new statistic of rounds per minute. Like how fast does it fire? But it doesn't really have a damage rating. Huh. Really, really interesting stuff. So over here we got the Better Devils. Rounds per minute, 138. Magazine, 12. Well-rounded, reliable, and sturdy. Projectiles create area of effect detonation on impact. Okay. Interesting. It's just a pretty standard hand cannon loadout. But uh, rounds per minute, 138. Very low. No damage rating. So, I don't understand why they would put the rounds per minute stat in there, but not a, a uh, damage stat. So, Scout Rifle, rounds per minute 150. This felt incredibly slow. When I was using it in Crucible, I was just getting wrecked by any pulse. I could not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. Yeah. Uh, this is gameplay from the event, everybody. Impact is damage, Xavier is saying. Well, I mean, if I'm getting wrecked by this pulse rifle, then I don't know. 
high impact, but like it wasn't effective. And then we have Scathe Lock, well rounded, reliable, and sturdy, improve whatever. Okay. It's an auto rifle. Nobody's going to use those. So, one thing CJ didn't do is go into the top there. So, Bandersnatcher, you put the Snicker in Snicker Attack. Uh, approved mobility to cost shield. These are all legendaries, thankfully. No blues. No, by the way, all gameplay sessions, not a single Engram dropped. No Engrams dropped at all. So I don't know if that's just for the purpose of this build and they wanted it clean because orbs still dropped. We still saw orbs. Rabid Mage with the sub. Thank you, Rabid Mage. I really appreciate it, dude. Uh, yeah, by the way, you can subscribe on twitch.tv slash the channel. It helps support the channel, and thank you so much. Expect a ton of Destiny stuff from me, just in general. I always do Destiny. And you can subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime. And thank you, Rabid Mage, for the hot sub. So uh, these weapons, this is where uh, on certain builds it said L2 or something uh, lore, but I pulled it. Kazrisk, thank you for the sub with Twitch Prime. You freaking rock too, dude. Well, thank you. Uh, so anyway, what was I saying about gear? Oh, so down there it said uh, lore. Like, so lore was in game. Wheelchair Pharma. Thank you for the sub, sir. Wow. It is going absolutely crazy right now. Banner Snatcher chest piece. I love this Titan gear, by the way. What up, Iroon? Good to see you again. Additional mobility at the cost of shield. Class abilities recharge faster. When have you ever known hunters to do as they were told? Banner Snatcher. So it seems like it's all just temp gear. They just, this might be really early development of build stuff. They actually have told me before in prior interviews that sometimes they will just name something temporarily and then update it later. So keep that in mind. Uh, mostly hero, but with a healthy dash of monster too. That's what it means to be a hunter. Hunter cloak. Banders beware. And then we have where our artifact typically is. Our clan banner, it looks like. Very interesting. I'm glad he hit that node because I think I missed it. And then we have armor, agility, and recovery. No more int dis strength. It's armor, agility, recovery. Notice up there where the int dis strength normally is. So Rabbit Mage, some people are thinking Grimoire might be in the game because on some builds, on a different build of the game, it said L2 uh, inspect lore, I believe it was the, the text. Um, on the bottom here. So let me let me adjust my gameplay size on my uh, UI here. Right. So you can kind of see the U UI there on the bottom. You can see uh, level twenty, light two hundred. You can see there is a progression meter and up in the top left there. What I'm talking about. You can also see that no, there are no. No uh, pets. So anyway, let's see how long this clip goes. This is what Orbit looks like. Now, Orbit, Orbit was somewhat concerning to me because it was so familiar. And uh, loading in was also familiar. And I don't know if I like that. I want new stuff. I go ahead and minimize this stuff right now. How many people are on YouTube? Oh my God! There's a thousand people watching. Hi everybody. <laughs> I uh, did not expect that. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, so that's gameplay clip one. Oh my goodness, Netman, thank you for the sub with Twitch Prime. Really appreciate it, bro. You freaking rock. And thank you for all the, the Twitch Prime subs. All right, so let's make sure I have anything sensitive off the screen. <laughs> all right. Let's leave it out here. You stop. All right, how nerdy do you guys want to get? All right, so that's the strike we just watched, right? And then there's this crucible stuff. More crucible stuff. 
You know what, just to be safe, I'm going to do this really quick. We'll be back in just a second with more gameplay as soon as I can find it. <laughs> what else? I have like photos of me and my girlfriend smooching and stuff. I don't want you guys looking at. All right. What else do we got here? Where is my gameplay? So I definitely wanted to talk about. Ah, we're going to talk about the campaign next. Alright. Ooh, bitch cheer. Sir Mudkip, thank you so much. Why is this not playing? Alright, so I'm using the PC, uh, or the most recent one uploaded to Bungie.net, because it's basically the demo that we experienced, right? And we're going to dive into the nitty gritty stuff again here in just a second. Well, Thank you, Joe. I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? Thank you, everybody, for the new follows and the subs. You guys freaking some rock. Something to sabotage the skyline defense system. And comms of Just kids, how many exotics do you think we'll get at launch? Well, we know there's three. To be on the wall was gone dark. Hmm. Maybe it's just the storm. What are the set feeds tell us? Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean, they're not Turn there. up the gameplay, Spike. There are no satellites. And that's not good. Battle stations! So this is the Cabal. They're attacking the tower, as we all know. This is the Red Legion coming back to get their revenge. They've done research on, I believe it was Venus. They've figured out how to take away the life from the Guardians. And if you watch the Bundy Vidox, which we can go over later if you'd like, they have figured out a way to take away our life, and it messes us up. Now, the build that they showcase here, you have to remember at these events, they build these in this manner specifically so that you kind of get an idea of what the experience is going to be like. A lot of people, twitch.tv slash the Destiny channel is the name James Wood. So a lot of people are wondering like, oh, how do you have your superpowers at the beginning? You probably don't. You probably start with whatever. And then, yes, Netman, we're going to do inspection of subclasses next. I just found this clip first. So we went into the campaign gameplay. I did, I did inspection of the subclass in every node, and we're going to go over that in just a second. Well, we're going to go of it after this. So here we go. They have this device that they've built, that the Cabal have built, and they are attacking the Traveler with it. And then here is the gameplay. Uh, I have to say this. This is... I assume this is running on a console, so... It's 30 FPS, right? I'm guessing it's PS4 Pro. Uh, it looks awesome. They did talk about a few engine optimization things that they did. Now, gameplay-wise, here in just a second, we are going to see... Uh, campaign is three-person co-op, right? So you can go through the campaign with three people. Zavala is actually there, and he's the one not doing anything. I like that really... I like that a lot, a lot. How do you have light 200 in the demo if they take away your light? I mean, it's probably just for planning purposes. I don't really know. All right, here's a new shield subclass. And actually, I can't remember its official name. I don't have the giant letters on the screen to remind me. And then we have the one where it is a staff. Very interesting that those leaked subclasses from that concept art video actually turned out to be true, isn't it? Now, this is basically the exact same thing that we got to experience and play behind closed doors. It's just 
basically it's a perfect se session. You know, they don't die, they don't get knocked off the ledge or anything. They show you exactly what they want to show you. This is the trailer that you can watch on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, etc. Yeah, the staff is Arc Wielder. Thank you, Fusion. I appreciate it. Captain Zavala. Captain America Titans, how about that? I really like it a lot. Love seeing Ikora do stuff. It's just great that you're together doing stuff. You will take no more from us. So they've you taken the speaker. No so to me, you know what that means, right? It means that the speaker is basically being either held captive or gone. Like he's dead. Now they don't usually kill him. So I would have to guess. Well, not in Destiny. I would have to guess that the speaker is not dead. He's being held captive, and you save him. It is so nice to see those doors open. Isn't it? It's so nice to see Sweeperbot when we all saw him in there. We were all like, "Yeah!" Did they add Grimoire in the game? A lot of people are asking. Oh, here's uh, the volley weapon. I saw this, I'm like, it's the weapon, it's the, what was it called? Et cetera, et cetera. Legal not, shout out, bro. Thank you for the bits. That portrait. All right, so that wasn't a super. That is just an area of effect ability that the Warlock has to heal you. Someone told me you need a ride. Uh, here's an example of the editing. Zavala. Dubious Folly, thank you, Hyper Guardian. You never shut up about? So I did have a theory on youtube.com slash Destin channel. And unfortunately, I was wrong. Look at chat in just a second. This scene's dope, though. All right, Guardian. Thank you to all the new subs the on YouTube.com. I really appreciate it, you guys. All right, so that weapon he's holding, I believe that is the exotic that they give you when you pick the Titan in the strike mission. Uh, the soundtrack is different. For sure. Here's that pulse in action again. This seems like a different one than the one we got to actually try out. I believe that was a Suros. Yeah, it's Suros. Okay, the shield generator should be at the bottom of the ship. Those guys are tough. So yes, we have some similar abilities, but the, lo the way you can build your character is drastically different from what it was before. Grenade launcher in action, finally. Class specific exotics, I don't know. Wesley, with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Wesley. Dude, you rock. Thank you. Are there more active equip skills Ludwig wants to ask? Uh, I don't know. We weren't able to mess with our loadouts, but that is a possibility. We're gonna look at the skill trees next. Basically what I'm doing right now is going over everything. I haven't had fireball grenades there. I haven't had time to really dive into everything. I watched it once again last night, but I'm sitting here. Oh, we got Empowering Rift and Burning on the left. That's interesting. That is Brannon, the Onbent Blade, or it's just Bran. So got your floating ability as a Warlock, and that is something you can spec into. The ability we saw the Warlock do, the... Basically, to activate that stuff, you press and hold circle. I kept, I was a titan, I didn't know how to pop my shield. Yeah, so in the bar down there, you have your firebolt grenades, right? You have your melee, your punch shield. And then the third one is your press and hold O button. And what that is for a warlock is basically a shield. Now he's activated his super, the dawn blade. And that has one range stack, you hit that with R2, right? So he's going R2, burning all his meter, but he also has R1, which is just a swipe of the blade. People are asking the lore question. I think it's just a menu thing that they put in. So I think he just burns his power here. Yeah, he totally does. 
The shield generator should be cool, straight though. ahead. No space battle, Sean Stewart. Alright, so that is the gameplay demo for the campaign that we experienced in our 30. Guys, let me know, and ladies if you're watching, let me know what you think about this version of the story. Do you like it or no? Yes or no? Pre -order and get like early with yes? No for no. I'm going to turn gameplay off. You guys let me know what you think. I'm going to bring up that footage of the uh, subclasses really quick. Let me see if I can find it here. I believe that is just in my captured folder. Right, this is Titan perspective. We're not going to do that right now. You guys want to see those subclasses. So that's what I'm going to find for you. There they are. All right. All right, everybody, you wanted to see subclasses, right? So here we go. This is the striker subclass. And notice right away, I'm going to pause the video. All right, notice that it looks dramatically different from how you see them. This is how you spec how you want your build to be. So right now, the build that I went in with was, you can see lightning grenade, two types of shield there on the left. I'll use my, I'm going to use my mouse. So you got two types of shield here. Over here. Uh, then you have your different jump types down here. I haven't had a chance to dive into this, so I apologize. And right now we have the three grenade types that looks like electric. That looks like the stun grenade that would like make you lose all your abilities. And then this is, uh, or maybe it's vice versa. Anyway, let's see what they say. Lightning grenade, a grenade that sticks to any surface and emits bolts of lightning. So really interesting thing. We can, if you guys want to, we can look at the Titan perspective from the um, gameplay earlier. So binds to L1, it sticks to a surface, and it sticks to a surface sort of the way the Hunter's Grenade currently does. Let's uh, go ahead. I go through these quick. Pulse Grenade, so it's the one you throw on the ground, and it just pulses on the ground. And then Flashbang, pretty pretty standard stuff. We're very familiar with all this, right? Now Towering Barricade, this is the one I had equipped. Large Barrier, hold Circle, that can be used for cover, or to seal off dangerous areas for a short time. Rally Barricade, a small barrier that allows you to peek over it Oh, that's really interesting. I would have loved to have like a little barricade on the bottom where you could pop over it. Fist of Havoc is pretty standard. So press R1 to smash shoulder first into your enemies. So you can use that. You know how right now when you pop hammers and if you have the dash stuff, you can actually dash around with R1 right now. Similar to that, you can dash forward back to get out of a situation. Whatever you need to do. Catapult. This is just your uh, lifting, increased control, and then increased height. So what do you need in this particular situation? So now we're talking about our punch moves. Point of assault, a powerful melee punch that grants you increased weapon stability. Trample. Fists of Havoc lasts longer while sprinting, killing enemies with Fists of Havoc. Extends its duration. This is Code of the Juggernaut. Now, what's going to be interesting is if we switch these subclasses, how do we do that? Are we able to do that? I think we will. I think we're going to have multiple subclasses. Code of the Juggernaut, you can see it on the bottom of the section that I'm on. That's what it says. That's your melee stuff. Let's go up. Come on, Destin. Come on. Come on, buddy. All right. So now... Here's our first currency, Blue Planet. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, sir. I definitely appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are all ready to nerd out because I was going to do this anyway. I'd rather do it and stream with you guys than you can help me when I'm wrong. So I definitely appreciate it. I'm glad you guys are all ready to nerd out because I was going to do this anyway. Oh, wait. I'd rather do it and stream with you guys than you can help me when I'm wrong. One of my platforms are playing in the background. So anyway, after sprinting for a short time, press R1 to shoulder charge. Shoulder charge is back. And if you look, the icon there under ability unlock, Right there, 
that is actually the green oh what's what are they called right now you use them to upgrade your exotics right now all the way oh i'm totally blanking i'm very tired it's been a long day but anyway that is the icon being shown it's the very same one uh you buy them from zur they're green they're jewel like i'm too tired i'll figure it out Fist of Havoc disorients enemies and leaves a damage-dealing field in its wake. Radiant, sh exotic shard? Exotic shards. Thank you, guys. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, aftermath, so it leaves a thing in its wake. Come on. Magnitude increases the duration of pulse grenades, lightning grenades, and aftermath. And aerial strike. Fist of Havoc deals more damage longer than it is in the air. All right, so that is the striker subclass for the Titan. Now, I also want to talk about this, right? There is our glimmer. So it says glimmer, the currency of the city, a form of programmable matter. Use both our crafts and fuel. I'm getting doubling up of audio. I'm gonna fix that really quick. Or see if it's computer. No, it's not computer. All right, give me a sec. Yeah, my Twitch started playing. Shout out to everybody watching right now. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go back a little, talk about Glimmer. So all right, there we see Glimmer, the currency of the city, a form of programmable matter used both for craft and as fuel. That is interesting to me. This is even more interesting to me. Strange dust. Remnants of powerful items used to improve or trade for other items. Trade for other items. Trade. You guys see what I'm pointing out? Trade for other weapons? Do you think that's how they mean trade? Or do you think they mean trade with a vendor? Interesting, right? That seems interesting to me. Oh, you know what? There are multiple subclasses because they have me built as a striker right now. They have me built as a striker right now, but they showed the, 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 the shield guy in the gameplay. So, strange dust is not silver dust. It could be a vendor, Chris Soto. I see you on YouTube. It could be a vendor, Chris Soto. But let's have a little fun and say maybe it is actually trading. What if it was actually trading? That would be interesting. Somebody in on Twitch just said, maybe they replaced Marks. Thank you, Bob Assassin. Good call, bro. Anyway, that got me really excited. That was really, really interesting to me. And I want more Captain America Titan. Now, I don't go through all my gear. Armor, agility, recovery, again. And this is a Titan Exo, actually. Interesting. All right. Eventually, I wake up and go to the other subclasses. Right, so here I inspect the, the Warlock, who actually has... Oh, here we go. So check this out. Right? I went to a different character... And it says L2, show lore. You guys can't see it. See it down there? Show lore. Blow it up for you. Boom. Boom. Nope. Boom. What does that mean? Is that a bug? Is that like a UI bug? I'm not sure if that's a UI bug or what that means, but it is going everywhere right now. Everybody wants to know what that means. I, so I'm inspecting another character right now, right? Uh, so I'm inspecting another character right now, and it has show lore. And when I press it, I, I don't know if I pressed it this time, but I know I did. It just showed the weapon stats, basically. Uh, however, we're going to talk about the subclasses here. Firebolt grenade, a grenade that unleashes bolts of solar energy at nearby enemies. So Defunct Gaming says, could mean show more. That's exactly what happens when you press it. You press L2, and then it just shows you the stats of the gear. That's all it was. By the way, 
Thank you for everybody hanging out. I'm not getting sub notifications. I'm going to turn off follows. Thank you to everybody who subscribed tonight. Seriously, like I had a, a bunch of you guys come in. Uh, Blue Planet, Wesley, Illegal Knot with the bits. Uh, Jay Yang, <laughs> I uh, Sir, Netman, you guys all rock. We are at 64 of 100. At 100 subs, by the way. I'm giving away this giant spider tank from, you know, that old game Destiny 1 some of us liked. It comes with a, uh, a little fallen guy, a bunch of guardians. Boom. Anyway, that's what I'm giving away at 100. And I'm also giving away extra squeaky noises. No, all seriousness. Uh, yeah, I was at 75. Touching my tumor. Subscribe to Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. By the way, guys, yes, if you want to support the channel, you can subscribe for free with Twitch Prime. Or you can subscribe the regular way. If you do subscribe, you get access to my exclusive video that I release once a month just for subs. I know you guys want me to stop pushing my stuff, though. You want me to start talking about these subclass loadouts. So let's get back into it. No audio. Well, yeah, I mean, I have it paused. So, so we got regular grenades, right? Not much to see there. Solar uh, daybreak. So we have solar fusion fireball. All right. All that's the same. I think this is a temporary build of what it's going to look like. Up top, it says a two-minute of the sky. Kolbs. I don't know, Kolbs, but I'll take it. Thank you, bro. Uh, Daybreak. Uh, they are just actually doing something with su subscriptions on Twitch. By the way, if you're watching on the other platforms, I am streaming at twitch.tv slash the channel. And uh, you can subscribe over there. Uh, just by clicking the link in chat. Chris was asking. This is the Daybreak subclass, and it has a lot of the current Sunsinger subclasses, and it looks like you cannot self-res. So empowering ref, press and hold circle to conjure a well of light that increases the attack power. Oh. That is really interesting. So this one heals you. This one increases your attack power, and it was not turned on. That is awesome. And then this is just uh, talking about your uh, glide abilities. Now, Chris Barrett did mention that they toned down skating a lot. Yeah, no self res. Shout out Goji, who has kicked off the fire team forever. Just kidding, Goji. <laughs> uh, wildfire, exchange your enemies mid. Engage your enemies mid flight. Fire weapons, throw grenades while gliding. That sounds like the float ability. Fire starter, powerful melee ability. Damage enemies while also increasing your movement and reload speed. All right, fair enough. Everlasting Flames, kill an enemy with Daybreak. It sends its duration. Yeah, pretty standard. Blazing Dash. Hello. Hello. What is this? Press OO while midair to dodge. I'll give you an exotic shot for that. Let's freaking go. <laughs> that is really interesting. That is really, really interesting. So they've mapped two things to O. The hold O, you activate your super ability. Double tap O. Blazing dash, press dash dash while well, midair to dodge. Go, Goji's going to be using that a whole bunch. Goji dies a lot. That's a joke. Anyway, igniting touch, a powerful melee ability that ignites enemies and causes them to explode. Risen Angel. Come on, slow down. Will in air, aim your weapon to hover in place for a short time. Precision damage. Skyfire, while well, daybreak is active, descend. Descend causes explosive damage where you land. Really interesting. I like that a lot. So you can jump and then smash on the ground. That is really cool. That is really cool. I like it. Diddy Caster, thank you for the host. And then Phoenix Dive, hold, 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 <laughs> hold, hold circle while in air to quickly descend and regenerate health. All right, there is Glimmer and Strange Dust. Same thing. I like that the Warlock floats a little bit. Oh, so here we go. You see how... Thank you, Blue Planet, for the notification finally popping up. I don't know if that's new or old, but thank you, sir. Um, yeah, Blue Planet, you subbed twice. Thanks, man. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so you see all the numbers, the 200s. In this particular build, 
that is what happens when you press the show grimoire button that I was just talking about a second ago. A little bit. Uh, so right now it just kind of shows your weapon stuff. Uh, so that is it, right? Nope. We got Hunter. By the way, love this build. It looks like we got a Gunslinger Hunter. Ratchet all day. I see you. How's it going? I hope everybody's having it. And by the way, as I'm rambling like a crazy person here, if you guys have any questions, just hit me up on chat. I'm more than happy to answer. And I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching. Oh boy, shut up. Give me one second. Just want to go to this channel. Website. Shut up. All right, there we go. All right, so here is our Titan again armor, agility, recovery. Love the gear on this particular multiplayer loadout. Way of the Outlaw, Gunslinger, a lone wolf who lives for the perfect shot. Swarm Grenade, a grenade that detonates on impact, releasing multiple drones that seek nearby enemies. Binds the L1, great. We know what a Swarm Grenade is. We know what trip mines are. Oh, we know what Golden Gun is. Incendiary, yeah, okay. Golden Gun, press flaming pistol, it disintegrates enemies with solar light, binds the L1 armor, and that's fine. Massman's dodge. All right, so there's your shade step. Automatically reload your equipped weapon while dodging. Circle, circle. Dodging, circle, circle near enemy generates melee energy. Oh, man. That's going to be brutal. Ah, Chris Rosati just said, Hey, Destin, if you go to the frame in the live streams where they show the character screen... The Strange Dust is a different icon, something that looks like crystals. Good catch, Chris Rosati. I did not know that. Anyway, Gambler's Dodge, dodging oh near enemies generates melee energy, so you can double tash. Twitch.tv slash the Destin channel, Randall. Thank you so much for asking. So you can dash behind them, melee them, and if you have that melee from behind, insta kill, basically. That's going to be brutal in multiplayer. All your jumps, pretty same. Oh, what's Strafe Jump? That's new, isn't it? No, it's the same. All right, then we got uh, Chain of Woe, one of my favorites for reloads. We got Bombs for Bullseyes, Precision Hits Generate Grenade. Six Shooter, Golden Gun can be fired up to six times, but has a shorter duration. In interesting. We're only looking at the Gunsinger subclass, but because we've seen other subclasses already, we know there will be more than one. To me, this seems early. Like, the fact that the Hunter is just a drawing is immediately intriguing to me. So... Oh, and then explosive knife. Throw a knife at enemies that explode shortly after impact when melee energy is full. Oh, let's check that out. In my gameplay, I was playing against the hunter. I popped my super as a warlock, and he threw a knife at me, and I died instantly. And I was like, what happened? Well, it was probably an explosive knife, and that's why he one-hit me. Knife juggler. Throw a knife at enemies when melee energy is full. A precision kill with this ability immediately recharges it. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's going to be troublesome. It doesn't say it has a chance to. No. If you get a precision kill, then it reloads your, your blade. That's really interesting. Line them up. Precision hits with Golden Gun increases its damage and extends its duration. Precision hits with Golden Gun generate orbs of light. That's great. Enter a trance with each precision kill, reducing the cooldown of your Golden Gun. All that looks good to me. You guys wanted to see the character types. So that is that. Oh. What else do we have? So some multiplayer. Unfortunately, guys, I got bad news on that front. It's my multiplayer footage, so it's bad. <laughs> so together, we will relive my embarrassing moment of multiplayer sadness. 
with a little bit of squeak squeak. I know Knife Juggler is not new, <laughs> but it said a chance before, didn't it? Was it always an auto reload? I thought it was a chance. I will boot up Destiny right now, MD Bat. Yeah, somebody turned the music off on mine, probably for their features or whatever. There we go, we got some music. So I don't love that Orbit is basically the same. Right? You know what? Next thing we're going to do, we're going to rewatch the stream. And we're going to talk about how we feel about that, that client stuff. That client stuff is any, how, if you're interested in about client stuff, let me know in chat. Just type the word uh, clan hype. I guess. Oh yeah, so I'm using Risk Runner here. I don't do well with it. Let's see uh, what Risk Runner actually says. Go back, go back. So Arc Conductor, taking arc damage increases weapon power. When Arc Conductor is active, shots fired have the chance to become chain lightning and return ammo. All right. All right, people want to see clan stuff. Good, good, good. All right, so we're going to go listen to that presentation once again and talk about some of the clan type. Guys, we are flying in right now to my terrible PvP gameplay. I am really, really sorry. It is not, not excellent. But, uh... While we do that, if you want to support the channel, you can go to twitch.tv slash the Destiny channel and subscribe. That's probably the easiest way to do it. This is Midtown, one of the new multiplayer maps. Oh, you know what? We have a whole press Countdown. pack we could go through. If you guys want to get real nerdy, let's do it. You're on offense. Set the charges or eliminate all opponents. All right. So here I am. Got my sidearm, which I'm terrible with, and my other weapon, and I immediately die. But... So you want to run to your point, right? And you can plant a bomb. And what is really interesting about this... Yes, I know I was hit firing. Yes, I don't even know what hit me. So anyway, so I planted the bomb, right? My teammate doesn't res me for whatever reason. Thanks. And then they come in and defuse the bomb. So basically, your objective is to either kill everybody or do the bomb. So you could not do the bomb at all during your gameplay. There is a timer to push press you to do that. But it is just interesting that there are so many different ways that you can encounter each situation. I think round two, I actually have a decent kill. <laughs> or round two, I, I'm terrible again, and I'm like, nope, not going with this loadout. So now we're on defense. Now we switch to defense. So they are trying to plant the bomb, and I am trying to defend against them doing that. It freaked me out a little bit that he had golden wings. I didn't know how he would have had a super already. So I'm in my healing area, but I'm getting wrecked from the side, so I get the heck out of there. Still getting wrecked, and I have no idea where anybody is, and I die. So, like I said, told you it would be embarrassing. Let's see if my teammates fare any better. And here I'm just like, well, that's not working so well. I'm good with scouts. Let's try out the scout. Got a risk runner. We switched to a Suros. I actually Make switched to the uh, sidearm. And I don't remember what heavy I go to. So, yeah, down, that was pretty cool, right? There's my one good play of the game. So then we run in here, we defuse the bomb, and we actually win the round. What do you think about the UI? I think it's fine. Close call. I like that the sounds are the same. One thing they actually told us is that the sound design is going to be different in multiplayer. I'm going to have to talk to Lars next time I see him. Hopefully at E3. I mean, they're going to be at E3, right? Um, 
yeah, so up on the UI, it tells you what kind of subclasses the opponents are using, uh, what character type they are, how much time is left. So you got about a minute 20 to either kill everybody or plant the bomb. Uh, yeah, lots of info. I don't know what the little you ghost the is in the, in, on the Rally lower right. Team. All right, so here they come. Guardian down. I know they're over there. See, they're waiting for that heavy. Yeah, have a fireball. It, it just gets worse after this, just so everybody knows. Teammate, you know, just standing there. Nicely. Give a nice punch in the face for encouragement. They can't win if they're dead. <laughs> They can't win if they're dead. Ha <laughs> ha! I like that. Hold the line. Defend those charges. I am also very curious what this place is where we're playing. What's the history here? You know, we have the planet Io, the planet Nessus. There's a lot that we don't know. Let's see, so I tagged them in the head. It just didn't do too much. I'm not in a great spot. So I just go for the diffuse. I'm like, well, hey, Mr. Self Motions, we are just going over all my destiny footage, basically. You the you can, if you don't want to hear my voice, Let's deploy your you can, uh. You can just watch the VODs that are on Fireteam Chat. Oh, I got two more subs. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Jeez. It's not popping up in the thing. Or my headset. It's being weird. Uh, nobody said 60 FPS on Scorpio. I would be... Yeah, fun fact. Uh, I tried to shade step there. And then I remembered I was a uh, warlock. And I am sorry my gameplay is this bad. 44, 45, Voidwalker updated, super spotted. One minute Poor Narno. I'm going to ask you for that link later. Right, so these guys are going to get flanked. We don't have mics, so we can't communicate. Mr. Whistletip did pretty well, though. All teammates down. Again. <sighs> what time is it? 9.13. Hold the line. Defend those charges. No bad ombre. There was actually a quote about that at Xbox Quick on Twitter. The Scorpio is not held back by the old consoles. That is, so don't perpetuate that. Uh, Xbox has confirmed that it's up to the developer how much power they use. Guardian down. So. My, my stellar aiming continues. One minute. Yeah, so there's the OP Titan. And you're going to see that uh, blade in action here after this round. Yeah, they got him. You can run around the building there, by the way. Yes! Enemy team. We we all have to sit through this struggle bus multiplayer, all of us. Set the charges and protect them with your life. Actually, got a kill here again. You just see the rate of fire on the scouts that they give us? It's so low. One minute. Charge set. Now hold the line. All right. Well, there's not much we could have done about that. Yeah. So this whole team's back. They're gonna disarm our bomb or plant their bomb. Can't remember if we get this one or lose. 
Diffuse your charm. Yeah, they diffuse it. Thank you, Marco. So, any questions about multiplayer? <laughs> Uh, let me ask you guys a question. What do you think of this? Thank you, Fernando. What do you think of this mode? This is... Oh, I can't remember. I'm, my brain doesn't work right now. But... Well, Jack, if you're just tuning in, I've literally been doing nothing but theory and analysis since the video started. So, I've been doing theory and analysis for about an hour now. So, here we go. I bought my super. I'm low on health, right? Now, I don't know if that was the explosive blade Enemy or a regular blade, but Make I found it really like interesting. Countdown, thank you. I did play on PC and I equipped a shotgun, and the shotgun I just wrecked shop with. Your team has been neutralized. So, shotgun was good. It was better than expected. What day is the beta? Nobody knows this summer. That's all I know. Them. Anyway, I was going to ask you guys, what do you think of Countdown? Do you like this multiplayer mode? I'm sure you've watched people better than me play and analyze the content. That was a great grenade throw, by the way. All right, so here, this is a strategy I do often where I try and hide, and it does not work well at all. I almost had the res. I almost had the res. Rip. See, they got their super so fast. They have two warlocks on their team. Down. Again. Shout out to Cap Theater. Alright, so some people are saying they like it because it's new. When is the PC released? Match Nobody knows, Ram. Thank you, Spartacus. I, I'm glad you like it. How was it on PC, Tyler Scarbo? So I talked about that at the beginning of the stream. PC did multiplayer, right? It was weird. Get out there and it was weird to play on PC and then go back to console. Because you're playing at 60. And then you go back to... Oh, here's my other kill. <sighs> Shout out me. Anyway, yeah. So you're playing on... You're playing on PC, you're playing at 60, you finally start, you know, you only get one round of all players, so you kind of get used to it, but you don't get great at it. That hurt. And it was difficult to adjust, is my final comment. I think my theory, here's your theory, my theory is that PC will release two weeks after everything else. I think it will be still in September, but I think it'll be about two weeks later. Ty, they're coming for you, Guardian. Crush them. What do you guys think? Not a lot of questions about multiplayer. You're like, yeah, it's multiplayer. We get it. But you don't understand the subtleties that are happening here. Everything's been slowed down weapon-wise. Sidearms, everything. It is a slow game now. You do not get kills with scouts as fast. Uh, you do not jump around as quickly as you used to. I mean, it's still going to be fast-paced, right? It's just in a different way. It just feels like it's in a different way. I think this is going to make the weapons much more in tune once you learn how to use each. It's something Sean talks about a lot on the show. He wants the best player to win, and I think this is going to facilitate that. Uh, that dude had to make a play, so... Your charge has been diffused. Nitman said, so would PC release after the console gets the raid? No. Come on, come on, console's not gonna get the raid. That quickly. Whenever you want to try this again, I'll be here. With my bombs. Dark Gothic says D2 beta is July 17th, but he is guessing. That is a good guess. But it is a guess. All right. You guys want to look at the client stuff from the presentation? I do too. All 
All right, give me a second. Thank you for the follow. Give me a second. Tacor, thank you so much, dude. I'm glad you like the show. I'm trying to find a good image of clans. Sorry, this is taking me a second. All right, we're just going to go to their YouTube channel. All right, so this is their YouTube channel. Gameplay reveal trailer. Where's the English live stream? All right, let's try. Nope. Oh, it's this one. Okay. All right. So clans are about 18 minute mark. There's my buddy Luke. Let's show the campaign first. Their history. All right. Let's watch the Vidoc. Gaul, the leader of the Red Legion, who you just got introduced to at the end. Gaul or Gary, as he's sometimes referred to. Here because he the way. Weapons. So much of their connection to the thing of all. Things you're gonna. Destiny 2 tells the thing of all. He goes off and tries to be a hero. And what happens next is pretty expected because it goes totally sideways. Let's take a closer look at the game. JP Vortex is very angry about no Destiny dedicated 2. servers. Hey, you two. Give me a sec. Jib, I'll check it out. Zavala's doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. Destiny 2 tells a brand new story. What happens when a world full of superheroes loses their powers, their history, and home? Since Destiny 1 released, there's been no foe that they could stand before and not tip over. Whether it's Crota, Oryx, spider monsters, whatever. But in the opening of Destiny 2, players realize there is, 45. in fact, a foe who has the power. Ah, so I really like this part here. It looks like they're back at the Iron Temple. Or to not Very only interesting. Take everything you own away. Is that where they happen to be? To take your power is that why they have ghosts still? I am the light is mine. Dominus Gaul is a Cabal warlord who has brought with him the Red Legion and has come to our system to take the Traveler's powers, the light, take it for himself. Gaul's jealous. He wants to have the light. He wants to be chosen. Gaul is a different villain. He's not a psychopath who just wants to erase humanity off the face of the earth. He feels like this is something that is owed to him because of everything he's been through. He's a villain who you're like, yeah, this guy kind of has his stuff together. He's more like uh, Alan Rickman's character from Die Hard. <laughs> like, minus all the Britishness. All right, so let's talk about... Uh, well, I'll let it keep playing. I forgot what it's The protector say. itself, the traveler, is put in a cage, and in an instant, all guardians lose their light. So we lose our light. Uh, they don't show what happens with our ghosts. They show that the tower is under attack. And Trevarin asks an interesting question. Can I get your honest input? Does Destiny 2 feel like the Taken King 2.0? Uh, no. No. But it feels very familiar to Destiny 1 players. 
My concern is why why would anybody who hasn't played Destiny be gripped by this? Like, how is Marty Sleva going to care about the tower being attacked, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Ryan said he seemed to like it, but maybe that gets him through the campaign. So, yeah, he'll play through the campaign, right? Maybe there's little story stuff that comes in, but I care about these characters. I've been playing with these characters for three years. I've basically been playing Destiny nonstop. You know, we joke about them. I have, I have the IGN clan that uh, I run and, you know, more stuff like that. Like, I have all the friends, etc. Why is a new player coming into this world going to care? I don't think they are. And that is slightly concerning to me because, well, I mean, people are going to come in. We're going to get a bit of a new player base. But, yeah, I just don't know. Unexpected and irreversible. You can no longer go back to the tower. You can no longer even walk. All you can do is... So that, you say, that some ghosts survive. Well, not yours, apparently. It would look like... Your ghost does not survive. Ludwig says, is there going to be a cap on the number of clan mates? We have a full interview on Fireteam Chat. YouTube.com slash Fireteam Chat right now if you would like to watch it. All about Stumble. that sort of stuff. Nobody expected that light could follow. be taken away once it was given. The city has been lost and the vanguard's been cast out. And you are the hero of this story. Whether you're a titan, a warlock, or hunter, you have to go out and get your powers back and take back the city. The engine is definitely updated, but not the top. Like your character still has to be able to wear like millions of pairs of armor, right? Whether you're playing Destiny today or it's going to be your first foray into the franchise, Destiny 2 is a new adventure for everyone. It's a fresh start for all players. Leafy Destiny says, look up on YouTube. Yeah, campaign. I posted those videos, Leafy. There's more cinematics than we've ever had before. I think. How long before the fleet's combat ready? So more cinematics than we ever had before. That's great. Uh, now, do they mean in Bungie's history or in Destiny's history? Because if you mean in Bungie's history, that means they have more than 15 minutes of cinematics. <laughs> right? I mean, what, Taken King? I think if you connect all those together, it's like 20, 25 minutes. It's not very long. I hope she's like underselling it. I think there's going to be a lot. And more story missions. There's quests, there's adventures, there's going to be people talking to you. Let's bring them home, you and I. All new worlds to explore. We've got cooperative strikes for three players, new nightfall strikes, and a brand new raid. In Destiny 2, we built you. All new weapons, all new armor, and a pile of great. brand new exotics. We also redesigned the weapon slots. They're going to have a kinetic weapon, an energy weapon, and then a power weapon. How do you guys feel? Power weapons oh. are things like fusion. Sorry, guys. I know you don't want me to pause. You can go watch this right Let's now on youtube.com slash IGN. All new worlds to explore. All new weapons, all new armor and a pile of brand new exotics. Your inventory. We also redesigned the weapon slots. They're nice. gonna have a kinetic weapon. There's the shards. So they have 17,177 glimmer, or, or yeah, glimmer, right? Different subclass. Oh no, this is the warlock, Never mind. Uh, different ghost at least. But look at the shard thing, 98 shards. What does that mean in the upper right? You guys see it? It's really interesting. An energy weapon and then a power weapon. Power weapons are things like fusion rifles and sniper rifles and grenade launchers. In that energy slot and the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapons. Spikey, did they announce it? The new weapon plan was designed to provide players with more freedom. And more did they announce it? The stuff that they love. July 17th confirmed. Each character has these new supers and they're really changing the way it feels to play the game. We have the Dawn Blade. All right, hold on. Did they literally just confirm? Oh my God. Sorry, I gotta verify this.
No, you guys are making me freak out. <laughs> Spikey! You guys are making your jokes, making me freak out, thinking breaking news is happening. I trust you. You can cast your super. You've got your sword and your flying nope. over No, no beta everyone. 17. You Somebody in chat was spamming that. I thought it was a new thing. Projectiles that just decimate people. And then you have the Sentinel. A Sentinel is a Titan, and he is able to summon a shield that he can just knock his opponents out with. Where he can throw his shield and just bang it off dudes' heads. And then you have the Arc Strider. They summon this mystical staff and wield it like a crazy acrobat, cracking enemies in the head. It's awesome. The idea of losing your home and being cast out and the lengths that you'd go to, to get it back, it's all tied together to be something that's really meaningful. The sense of starting as an underdog and climbing to a great height is really fun. Destiny 2 is... I swear to God, I might fall asleep while doing this, yes. Who could enjoy a sweet first-person shooter in a future world? Thank you for the host, GamerZone. Awesome definitely fight. appreciate it. Gear to chase if you want to support the channel like GamerZone did with a host, you can uh, also subscribe. It's probably the easiest way to do it. And you can subscribe for free with Amazon Prime. Now, anybody who subscribes gets uh, access to my exclusive video every month. I release a unique video only for subs on YouTube. They got my theory video about two weeks early. Rabbit Mage, I refuse. Wow. All right. Are you guys ready? All right. So Steve like, talks about some Especially stuff. Because he's coming back. Campaign's Destiny. great. Yeah, that's all great. We just watched Crucible. We've made the... This, let's go over this part again. These same characters are also going to mark your map with mysterious locations to discover. These we call lost sectors. When you descend into these dungeons, you're going to find a cache of treasure. Hey, CJ, and a boss go to bed. The key. Yeah. All of this is going to be easier We're getting to find there, Lion. in Destiny 2 because of the new map to guide your way. All right. Is this a world map? Because it looks the large. You, want. you can search for lost sectors, complete adventures, rally to public events. They now show up marked on your map where and when they're going to happen. So when I remember being there, I remember them showing public events with countdown timers. But they're not on the map right now. So maybe These I'm These activities crazy. are the foundation of Destiny 2. And we're going to take oh, you to the all four new planets. places to do them. Earth Titan Ionesis. Four brand new worlds. Oh, yeah. we'll let him play, sorry. So let's check out the new worlds of Destiny 2. I need to get some water, guys. I'm going to let this play. We have these incredible worlds to explore. There are all new destinations, new planets with incredible spaces and secrets hidden now we have stuff tucked around every corner under every locked door there's something there for you to find the map is a huge part of this new player experience for destiny now you can actually go directly from one planet to another planet without going to orbit first you can just open the director pick your new destination and go straight there It's about getting you into the action faster. We want to remove as many barriers as we can between your gun and the enemy's face. Everything you're doing on every destination is about getting more powerful, and it's about getting the band back together. The vanguard have been scattered, and as a player, it's your job to go out to these mysterious destinations and gather them back together. And everywhere you go, it's about growing more powerful and learning how to go back and take back your home from Gaul. One of the first destinations that you're going to go to is the European Dead Zone. This is an incredible place. It's the largest destination we've ever built, easily, maybe by a factor of two. And I'm back, everybody. And we've found a refuge where we've built a camp. It's the place where humanity stops fleeing, and it's where they decide to, you know, plant I a like flag this and start getting strong again. 
One of our new worlds is Titan. It's a moon of Saturn. If the light can find its way back to you, who do you want me to ban? Hope for us all. That's where Zavala chooses to go to heal his wounds and to recover from the assault and the defeat that he's just suffered. It's this incredible methane ocean with 40 meter high waves, and there's an old human utopia there that's sinking into the ocean. These huge monolithic structures constructed by humanity at the peak of the Golden Age. There's literally no land mass on Titan. And it looks like the ocean. Walk away for two seconds. Hurry, come on. I don't know how long this portal's gonna stick. Cade is on a planetoid called Nessus. It has been totally occupied by the Vex. They have transformed it Smitty's almost gone. entirely into one of their machine Bye, Smitty. Go, go has its own do something vegetation, else And the landscape has these incredible canyons. They're actually based off of this um, word I will mispronounce called Tipui, <laughs> just like these Brazilian plateaus. And then we go to Io, which is this sort of sulfuric I don't think so, yellow Eric. moon of Jupiter. Eric asked if we can gonna go to the moon Venus and such. I don't think so, dude. Touched Not before in the part one. Happened. And you can imagine that a place where the Traveler once appeared has a bunch of mythology we'll back, and lore and mystery surrounding it. It's a very sacred place to guardians and particularly warlocks and particularly like CJ wants to know how I'm still awake. I don't know. That's where I return. Oh, that's interesting. Where's that core going? Who's that dude? All right, let's review. All right, so we're gonna come back to Amy Chung, talking about social. First, I'm gonna go to 4455 because I'm tired of people spamming, spamming it in chat. 44, 45. Yeah, I'm gonna go play with these guys. Plans are gonna have progression. Okay, yeah, I mean, <laughs> good. They have, they have no also bomb. going to be got Back and take back your whole mission is about. Map is a huge. Part. All right, you're talking about mystery. Maps. Adventures. All right, here we go. We have these incredible worlds to explore. There are all new destinations, new planets. Meaning raspberries. Incredible spaces and secrets hidden. Now we have stuff tucked around every corner, under every locked door. There's something there for you to find. The map is a huge part of this. New there they are. Public events with countdown timers. New what are the triangles? With incredible spaces and secrets. That looks like the dreadnought. Hidden. Now we have stuff tucked around every a new take on the dreadnought. Every locked door. There's something there for you to find. The map is a huge part of the. So those triangles are interesting. This is going to be a deep cut throwback. Does anybody know what those triangles are first? Or landing zones, you think? Do you guys remember way back? This. Do you guys remember this concept art from Destiny 1? Now, putting on my spin foil hat, but you have to wonder, they've showed some other artwork that reminds me of triangles. I don't know, whenever I think triangles, I think of that artwork, but probably not. This new player experience for Destiny. Now you can actually go directly from one planet to another planet without going to orbit first. You can just open the director. Oh. Sectors. What are sectors? Triangles are countdown timer. Spike saying. Triangles are point of interest. Strikes. Sectors. Hmm. So I get it. You take out your ghost and you can go anywhere you want. Got it. Pick your new destination and go straight there. It's about getting you into the action faster, and we want to remove as many barriers as we can between your gun and the enemy's face. Everything you're doing on every destination is about getting more powerful, and it's about getting the band back together. The vanguard have been scattered, and as a player, it's your job to go out to these mysterious destinations and gather them back together. And everywhere you go, it's about growing more powerful and learning how to go back and take back your home from the gall. I'm watching eating raspberries and thinking. I 
appreciate you guys hanging out with me. We're going over all the Destiny content. One We're going to talk about plans next. Gonna go Sparrows are back. The European dead zone. Is what is that thing that fell? It looks like a traveler to me. An incredible place. It's the largest destination we've ever built, easily, maybe by a factor of two. And we have found a refuge where we've built a camp. I don't know what that thing is. To me, that thing in the distance looks like a dead traveler. <laughs> it's the place where humanity stops fleeing, and it's where they decide to, you know, plant a flag, start getting strong again. One of our new worlds is Titan. It's a moon of Saturn. If the light can find its way back to you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. That's where Zavala chooses to go to heal his wounds and to recover from right, so the, light the assault way back and the defeat that he's just suffered. It's this incredible methane ocean with 40 meter high waves and there's an old human utopia there that's sinking into the ocean. These huge monolithic structures constructed by humanity at the peak of the golden age. <laughs> There's literally Sorry, no land mass. Sorry, might me a little. It looks like the ocean. ocean. Hurry, come on. I don't know how long this portal's going to stick. Cade is on a planetoid. Hey, Mike Globe. Uh, thanks for the comments. Totally now you have to go do something else. By the Vex. They have band. transformed it almost entirely into one of their machine worlds. It has its own native vegetation, and the landscape has these incredible canyons that are actually based off of this um, word I will miss. Okay, somebody just said something really, really interesting. Confirmed whatever class you are, you start on a certain planet. Crypt? That would be awesome. Now, we don't know that for sure. But yeah. For now, it's called Tepui, which is like these Brazilian plateaus. And then we go to Io, which is this sort of sulfuric yellow moon of Jupiter. Io is the last place in our solar system that the Traveler touched before the collapse happened. And you can imagine that a place where the Traveler once appeared has a bunch of mythology and lore and mystery surrounding it. It's a very sacred place hmm. to guardians and particularly warlocks and particularly Ikora. This is where I return. Interesting. What is that? That looks like a new hive to me. Right? Blocks and particularly like Cora. This is where I return. Yeah, where are the faction leads? Another good call out. We know dead orbit stuff's in there. Particularly warlocks and particularly like Cora. This is where I return. All right, so we're gonna talk about plans. You know, all the best stories in my personal gaming history have involved other people, from bonding with my own brothers to leading my own it's a guilds night? All right. and running tournaments for the different games I've loved. You know, growing up, becoming a part of these communities for some okay. challenges that we face in the world. Shout out to Alfredo. I didn't expect to see him. And today, I'm happy to say that in Destiny 2, clans are coming into the game. Play, be good. So, for those of you who are unfamiliar with clans, they're optional teams that you can join, making it easier to play with other You can people. totally see us, CJ. For me, playing with my clan has been core to my Destiny experience, but up until now, coordinating with my clan had to happen outside of the game. With Destiny 2, we're bringing official clan support into the game. We want it to be easier. We want it to be easier for you to manage and grow your clan. So we're adding in-game rosters. We're adding tools you need to build your fire teams. In-game rosters. And custom banners tools. for you to help shape your shared identities. And banners. <laughs> On top of that, we're adding a reward system that is shared by every member of your clan. So whether you're the type of player who raids every week, so that's an or you only have the time to jump into a few PvP matches on the weekend, 
Your contribution will help everyone in the clan get rewards. <laughs> Now, we realize that joining a clan is not for everyone, and that's okay. But this is why I'm super excited to say that clans are going to matter to you, even if you never join one. Da, da, da. In Destiny, we had co activities that were designed to inspire friendship. friendship. Activities like you hear the that? Nightfall, Clay? Raids, Trials. We deliberately kept them exclusive I was eating, uh, raspberries, to dedicated yeah. groups of people, because we believe that challenge is what fuels the memories between you and your lifelong friends. And we didn't think that matchmaking was a great solution because of just how toxic gaming communities can get when you throw strangers temporarily into these challenging experiences. Make and IGN clan open, it'd be full in two seconds. A group of people that you no, know and trust I'm not gonna make the clan open. Game, like you understand, you only get 75 slots per platform, for good Juju, right? So no, I can't, I can't make it open. It so sucks. we had an idea. We have these clans who are our best examples of communities with positive culture. And we have so, so many So I think for Destiny 2, I'm going to take the IGN clan. Content in this welcoming environment. What if we put those two together? And we're trying something new in Destiny 2, and we'd like to introduce you to guided games. Anyway, just be more now, careful about At a high level, guided games is a system where clans stuff. and solo players can meet to play challenging activities. And as a solo player, you can use guided games to pick a clan you want to be paired with for a session of the raid, a session of trials, or the nightfall strike. <laughs> and the most important thing about this is that you get this to see really interesting which to clans are currently hosting, and, and you're able to read just a little bit about them so you know who they're looking for at that moment. You get to see how they present themselves, and you get a little sense of what type of players are part of that clan. And for players who are in an active clan, right, if you guys have you any questions, feel free to hit me up. To uh, if you're enjoying the stream, thank experience. you so much. And if you're a scheduler like me, then you're motivated to play with a consistent group of people. But you've probably had to deal with the experience. If you're enjoying of the stream, you can follow me at twitch.tv. Pug dog, I'll ban you if you keep using that word. Just trying to keep the group together. With guided games, you'll be able to open up your party to new players who are looking for a group to play with you. I'm reading chat here, a lot of chat going on. Through guided games, clans are now the foundation of the community that leads every player to all the most challenging content. And while we're really happy to say that everyone's going to have a chance to experience everything that Destiny 2 has to offer, we're really more excited about who you're going to meet and how you're going to play together. We know there is a community for everyone, and we hope that in Destiny 2, we can help you find one where you belong. All right, guys, you've, you've all seen this before, so we know about clans. Oh, sorry, we'll, we'll watch this last part. Destiny 2 and then really tries to say you belong. We'll, uh, we'll show another uh, gameplay session of that strike. You can strike. play by yourself, and that's awesome. But playing with someone else and tackling a challenge together. Guys, that's normally I stream every Tuesday and really Thursday at 8. Awesome. You want to support this stream and want to see more Destiny 2 content We've from heard me. Loud and clear a, from a thank you. B, to support years. doing that, wanted you can to play subscribe game over at twitch.tv slash Destiny Channel. You can subscribe for free to Amazon Prime if you happen to have it. just couldn't get enough players online at the same time. Our big challenge is like, how do you take the ease of matchmaking and how do you take the magic of community building and help people find the people that Next time I go live with my next Destiny 2 feature. Great time with. Or video. Expect some stuff. I'm guessing by E3. We're I adding hope. two new systems <laughs> to Destiny 2 that are pretty critical clans and guided games. All right, I want to pause this and look at it. So you got records. So it looks like they have just a whole record section. And uh, then you have your clan section. Clans have always been a part of Destiny. It's just been a nameplate or a second friends list. But clans are finally in the Destiny 2 game. The weapon play feel is snappy? No. Are groups that you can join to play the game together. When you're looking for the clans, you kind of get to see their motto, you get to see their name, you get to see that awesome clan. Yeah, I know some of my there. clan mates and are actually here in chat. In the can Destiny we uh, can we coordinate really cool poses like this so I can edit cool clans videos Destiny with two. like text lines like that? that you can join to play the game together. Yeah, like this. When you're looking for the clans, you kind of get to see their motto.
So. In the Destiny 2 oh, game. Oh, that's 10 seconds. Clans in Destiny 2 are groups that you can join to play the game together. When you're looking for the clans, you kind of get to see their motto. You get to see their <laughs> name. Xavier's like, no. You get to see that awesome clan banner there. And you kind of get a sense. All right, let's hear what it said. Every December has its dawn. It's just like every space cowboy slings their guns year long. Our goal is to unite players who no longer want to play alone. We're always looking for players who are seeking help. So it seems like you can write whatever you want here. There's also a, a light bulb up there, which makes me wonder what that means. Light 262, level 20. So it seems like you hit level 20, then you level up your right light. Yeah, JP, good. Yeah, you're right. No private matches. Thank you, Ica Legacy. I really, really appreciate the kind words. Dude, where? What did Deej confirm? Anyway, so it seems like you can write your own custom thing, and they that's kind of neat. You, you can know figure what? out yeah, what mantra you want to have. Plans are going to have progression, rewards, and they're also going to be guides for the guided games experience. Guided games is a way to allow solo players to seek out clans, to find people. Oh, hello! I didn't see. I didn't catch this last time. Damn Guided it. games is a way to allow solo players to seek out clans. All right, Nightfall normal, normal seeker. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. To find people. So if you're looking for one, you have to select your clan. It's matchmaking. It's people just matchmaking. Playing a game who are just looking for one or two more players so imagine you had five people who wanted to play raid but they're missing a sixth person then you have a solo player who's never played raids before and they're like i just want to see what this is like we'll match a group and a solo player together guided games are our way of making sure everyone who loves destiny can play every piece of content we build what did he say shanti guided Nightfall games doesn't require any commitment something cold? just have that really great experience and then you can part ways but our hope is, if you have a blast in that activity, maybe you'll make some friends and join the clan. Destiny, through clans and guided games, is going to help people fill out their friends list, so they're always going to have people to play with. What we try to do in Destiny 2 is weave this sense of community throughout the entire game. I follow the when description you get said to the farm, you meet this character, Hawthorne. Hawthorne looks much less interesting than I expected. Who? Like, the NPCs look a little... Not final. I guess I'll just doesn't live that. in the city. Anymore, but she went out into the wilderness and created a community of her own. So we use the storytelling. Soccer ball. It's created so many friendships that would have never existed, all because of this game. Randomo. Wow. We. Really Really try hard to make sure from the ground up we're building this to be an experience that you want to share with your friends. And not only your friends, but the potential friends that you could have. I've never had a game that feels like home before, but Destiny just feels like home. There are no words to explain how much I love, love this community. People have found a new place to call home. Shout out to me. <laughs> and my, uh some raid i'm doing anyway okay that's enough we understand how the game is work i'm gonna do one more round of uh gameplay guys whoops uh what do we got here i'm gonna show you guys my perspective as a titan i wonder what it was like to do the strike as a titan all right
right, so we're going to watch this one, then I'm going to call it a night, I think. I appreciate everybody hanging out and just going through all the content again. The Red Legion is set in crews. We need to know why. Failsafe, are you online? Commander, your favorite AI is primed and ready. I have prepared backdoors into several key vex systems. We have detected a series of seismic disruptions. The Cabal may be responsible. We need to know what we're dealing with. Yours are the boots on the ground, Guardian. Good luck. Yeah, that's where we dance, CJ. I actually went through all the emotes right at the beginning. Boots on the ground, that's right, Chaos. Is this a beta? Uh, I mean, it's labeled beta build. Also, it's kind of cool that uh, your lightning grenades are just different. Oh yeah, this next did not like me. So we watched the Hunter perspective before. Now we're looking at the Titan. Yeah, we, I was only able to play as a Striker Titan. I'm trying to figure out how to activate whatever my new power is. So you'll see me tap, double tap circle a few times. Now I started to jump, but I thought the pillars were going to disappear, so I jumped back. Not mappable D-pad, sorry. Shanti, yeah, you said something before. Shanti Roy on Fireteam Chat. You said something before that I missed and I wanted to address. Anyway, thanks guys for hanging out and watching my Destiny 2 gameplay. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 8. And if you want to see more Destiny 2 stuff, you can support the stream by subscribing. You subscribe for free on twitch.tv slash the Destiny channel. That guy would have got wrecked anyway, by the way. Do you think this is a planet AI? I don't think so. The planet, the AI's name is Failsafe. I think this is Zavala's like backup AI to help you. I don't know what, I think that dude clipped through the ground. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I like the Gatling gun. It was a primary, so it was very helpful. No, it'd probably be Jessica or something. <sighs> Chad. Thank you, Steven. Four K thirty on pro. Frontal assault buff from oh, weapon subclass. Into the light. I, think I don't a metaphor know, here, and I don't like it. But I'm about to pop my first super. Notice how I like how the sign is cool, by the way. So that's a shock grenade, right? And you notice how when it explodes, it uh, it kind of lands like a crit mine. D-pad is still tied to emotes. Hey, failsafe. Swing and a miss. All cozy for data Any advice on an energy shield? I believe the nearby vet constructs maintain that barrier. Well, I could have. Okay. We'll shoot them. I think this thing's gonna wreck. Like, because of the rate of fire, I think it's gonna do work.
could the Red Legion gone, possibly Ian. be drilling for? Friendly query, what have you done to attract such hostile species to my planet? Sniper rifles, OP. Hey, you see how jumping's just... You can tell in video form, I think, that it's a little weird. Much fewer enemies, also, in this area. Like, in the past, there would be a lot more snipers shooting at me. But I'm just kind of chilling. I also don't know where I'm going. Look at the distances that you drop from. I kind of, I like that a lot, actually. Game is not delayed. Oh, Marco, yeah, I always say hi, dude. Nope, sidearms are still there. I don't know where swords are. Fusions are in your heavy slot now. Optim Opponus Prime. Hey, Emily. Thank you for the heart. This is like a battlefield. I don't really know what's going on. It's a drilling site, but it looks like a war zone. Basically, it's the Cabal fighting Vex, I think. But what are they doing here? Check this out. You know how when you pop hammer right now and you get that shoulder charge? Well, basically, once your super's activated, you can just tap L1 to activate it. And of course, at the any time. If it's helpful, I suggest you deal with the drills when the shooting stops. The shooting never stops. played your gameplay at the beginning. There's another example there of those uh, grenades that land and sort of stick for a little bit. Yes, we just did AZ and Xbox. Uh, we did that just a little bit ago. We looked at all the uh, upgrades for the characters, yep. Interesting weapon required there. Just wanted to show off my ghost. I think I paused there because I was looking up how to use my tower because <laughs> they had the move there and this is when I finally figured out what the circle does. And then I'm like, well, can I shoot through it or do I have to jump over it? Also, uh, no treasure chest, no engram drop, just ammo and orbs. Pulse rifle hand cannon, good combo. Yeah, it might be CJ. Which one gets top slot? <laughs> Your pulse, right? Good. And here's where I just switched weapons to show you guys a different uh, item.
thought that barrel might explode, and it does. No emote wheel? No. It's just your D pad. You get one mappable emote. If I hop down first, then these guys wreck me way more than I thought they would. built from assets used in patrols? Well, Optimus Prime, I think they might be. But I don't know. But I think they might be. Okay, you see that shoulder charge? Once I realized what the build was and how quickly I could uh, move around, I, I was like, oh, okay. I basically have unlimited shoulder charge with my super. That is something I can do. Basically, it's a machine gun that's good. Fires faster and faster the longer you fire. The dogs weren't as bad as I thought they'd be. Like in Halo 4, I hated those dumb dogs. And these guys kind of look... <laughs> look similar. Now here, I'm not doing great with the sniper rifle. I just wanted to show how rapid the rate of fire was. I was very surprised. And then I'm gonna switch. I do I do rocket launcher because I'm dumb. <laughs> I was just trying to show weapons to you guys. I don't know what Fran and CJ are shooting at. Are those all ghosts in the wall? If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for the follow, sir. And thank you for everybody who tuned in today. Did any Engrams drop? Not a single one, Johnny. We didn't get any drops in multiplayer or anything. I think they built the game specifically for that. So Lionheart says, what do you think about all the areas to shoot on the minions, like the fire cabals, explosive packs, etc.? I liked it a lot. It was really freaking cool. And here I run out of ammo for the first time. Rain dies. Time number one. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is just fine. The ghosts look great. Thanks, Mr. Jack. I think I made it glitch there. Notice how it like went back for a second. Was... Oh yeah, Chain of Woe has extended to me.
We didn't know you could shoot the center of the football shield to bring it down, but I will definitely do that next time. That made the crucible feel safe. I could seriously fall asleep right now. Anyway, we're at the final boss. Pug dog, what's up? I think this thing's gonna remain in exotic. Uh, guys, the no, we didn't, time. Grateful. Watch your back, friend. I'm detecting multiple ordnance types. You're not helping. All right, guys, don't forget stream every Tuesday and Thursday at eight while I go into my inventory. I want to let you know I am giving this away when I hit 100 subs. Subscribe for free on twitch.tv slash channel. And if you do subscribe in July, you'll get access to my exclusive video. Turn up my mic first. You can subscribe for free with Amazon Prime for free. Otherwise you have to do it the right way. Here's where I save the team valiantly, CJ. Aka grenade launcher. Amazon Prime Leafy, which is referred to as Switch Prime. I thought. Hey, Mark. Good to see you. So here, my jump just made me miss too much, and I. Ah, uh, it feels fine. Yesterday, everybody. Uh, right, and then this is cool. The ground just disappears. The I thought I was. I, I jumped immediately. Team Cow says deserts are going to be a light level, even though the traveler was plastered. Yeah, we already saw a light level, so we can confirm that. So Fran was right about elemental damage. It looks like he starts out fire, then goes Energy through the different types. I do not understand why I was going flying in the air, though. There, see? He wouldn't knock me off the ledge, but I used my super again to stay nearby. See in a second, he's going to be electric at the end, so he's still uh, fire type right now. Watch your feet, and now he's going to be electric. Yeah, it gets a little crazy. I, I had a lot of trouble in this final section because there were new mechanics implemented, like void white poison spots that just instantly basically that I, I just didn't expect. And there he is right behind me. See, now he's arc. I'm just trying to 
gonna set myself up some cover. I can hold back and use off. Use my arc damage weapon. I'm too far away to be effective with it. But I want to try it. So I pull out my 40 damage per shot weapon. This guy, when you get him down to phase three, like at the very end, the white stuff is the Vex Mine, Marco? Good to know. See? You see how it kind of like detonates interestingly? Oh man, chill dude. I don't like the new grenade sounds, to be honest. But I mean, it's a sound design thing. See, there's this just white something near me, and then that guy blew up when I punched him. I was very confused about how, what it was and how it worked. That was CJ trying to res me. Shout out CJ. CJ Laser with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, CJ Laser. You freaking rock, dude. Thank you for supporting the channel. So here, I get nuked into the Vex Mind, which apparently I'm not supposed to touch. And then I got to take care of Fran. And then I get really blown out. Like, way further out than I'm supposed to ever go. Gonna make it back in just in time to watch Fran nuke the final boss, the boss. And then we all dance together. We are good. Well done. Failsafe, what's your assessment of this incident? Vex records indicate the Cabal discovered the mine and dug into this world to capture it. Had the Red Legion achieved their goal, I estimate a 60% chance this planetoid would have been destroyed in the ensuing battles. Luckily, the captains... Uh, didn't... well, they can rip the models out of Overwatch, though, can. <sighs> well, thank you, CJ. I appreciate it. Alright, guys, so that is the end of the stream. I basically just got through all the content that I had. I showed you my terrible Crucible gameplay. I'm sorry. You can see the good stuff on IGN. Uh, and the bad stuff, actually. Uh, the dances were a little weird, ME262. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to see before I go? Like, one last time. So there's my Titan. There's where your clan banner goes. I kind of go through the menus here at the end, just experimenting. And that's it for that one. All right, so here's the subclass screen again. Just one last time before we go. Sub hype. Thank you guys so much. I'm literally going to fall asleep before I go, but we will play this, and then I will sign off for the day. Uh, did I interview upload the 45-minute interview? Yes, I did. You can see that on youtube.com slash fireteamchat. I hope you guys like it. Exotic skill tree that was not accessible in this particular build of the game, unfortunately. There you go, DJ. We can't see exotic perks, unfortunately. We have this strange dust thing that I was really confused about. Uh, 200 light. Notice it's armor, agility, recovery. And then uh, I think that's all I do on this one because I don't know what I was doing yet, maybe. All the other subclasses. 
All right. So remember, I'm going to go back. Do you guys see that? I'll blow it up again. Show lower. Right there. This happens when you look at a character's whaley. So that's what happens when you look at a character that's not yours. What does that mean? I think that means you make your own lore for your character. Just like you can make your own... Let me get this back to the screen. Just like you get to make your own uh, clan stuff, right? You get to make your own clan description. Maybe you can make your own personal lore. I think that's pretty cool. Right, Coded Beast? Wouldn't that be neat? You get to create your own backstory. Now, if you click it in this build, if you hit right trigger, all it says is it just says your numbers, right? Clever Goose, follow my Twitter. Well, if you hit follow on uh, Twitch, it'll actually notify you when I go live. And uh, you can, uh, I already did the subscribe for free thing, but if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free to support the channel. Thank you. Everybody else, just thank you for hanging out and watching. I really appreciate it. So here's CJ, or sorry, here is the hunter, the hunter subclass. So lore is like grimoire. Think of grimoire, basically. Uh, this seems like the complete skill tree for this subclass. Did you ever ask if PvP will have a ranking system? I mean, ideal clutch, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Anyway, that is it, guys. I need to get some rest. I am exhausted. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to all the new subscribers. So shout out to everybody who uh, hosted. Uh, first of the subs, we got Blue Planet. Uh, there was one new one that just subbed like a second ago. What was the name? CJ Laser. Thank you for your sub. My thing's not updating. Uh, we got Kolbs. We got Wesley. We got Jay Yang. We got Netman. We got Wheelchair Fia. Thank you. Kaz Risk. And Rabid Mage. And Messers we sub. I'm going to uh, restart the program, make sure I didn't miss anybody. Thank you, everybody, who stopped by the stream today. We had a ton of concurrence. Uh, it was awesome just to see everybody hanging out. Most people were being respectful, and I love seeing that sort of thing. Yeah, I just missed CJ Laser. Thank you to all the new follows. Also, uh, all the hosts. We got Illegal Knot who dumped some tips or bits in there. Sir Midcup, Goji from three days ago, and uh, everybody. Guys, I'm just I'm just getting super rambly. I'll start thanking everybody again. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna see you next time. I'll see you Tuesday at eight. And until then, Destin out. Good night.